a big thing to come up here to Leash and you know compete in the national finals like this is this is it this is all of Ireland. As the name suggests CANSAT it's a satellite in a can so it's a simulation of a satellite system that fits into a soft drink can a 330 millimeter can. CANSAT is a European Space Agency competition that has been brought to Ireland by the Azero office. Azero is essentially an ESA education office here in Ireland. It's a contract between the European Space Agency and Science Foundation Ireland. And uh, we run it in partnership with a number of partners around the country, um, including Blackrock Castle Observatory, who help us to run the project. And then there are a number of third level uh, partners who run regional competitions. So there's uh, all the Institute of Technologies around Ireland had um, regional competitions and the winners from each of those competitions are here today to launch their satellite again and we have to uh, launch it up in a rocket and see all the different readings that we're going to get from it. We're transmitting our data with antennas so we have a small thread antenna in the can and then we have an antenna, a YAG antenna, which is the big one, which is plugged into our laptop. And while it's up in the air, we connect it up and then we get to see the data. Uh, well, we were collecting uh, GPS, uh, acceleration, humidity, light intensity, and then the primary mission, which is temperature and atmospheric pressure. It was quite intense because I thought, oh, it'll just go maybe 100 meters in the air. Not at all, it, it, it blew really high and I was, I was expecting a little bit of noise, but it was, it was intense and it was a really nice experience and it gave me, gave me goosebumps. Just seeing it launch up into the air, the parachute deploy, watching it sail through the air and just seeing that that's all your work over the past amount of um, time and it just kind of, it's quite rewarding to be able to see. Uh, everything was loaded into rocket, everything was going great until uh, the rocket fired and uh, our can ended up in the lake, so we, uh, we got its GPS readings and the last one is right over the lake. It's not a space mission, but still here, we all encounter problems and we all have to go and we have to fix those problems as a team. And you know, it falling in the lake was one of the problems, but it's not a problem that can't be fixed. I think the difference between the classroom environment uh, and this programme is the exposure to a real environment, that this is actually happening. CANSAT is a layer above because it has all the skills. It has the presentation skill, which they most lack. It has the uh, electronic skill, soldering, programming, and there's a lot of cross-fertilisation within that. For us, for the Institutes of Technology, this project is a great way to reach out to secondary schools in our local catchment area. But what we do try to inform ourselves about is curriculum development at second level. And we really feel this project lends itself to the new um, computing curriculum which is out there for second level students. They have their vision, they pick their components, they choose the methods to produce the can, they decide who they like to go for sponsorship. That's all up to them, you know, and I think they've done a great job of it and it's true being forced to do that is how they improve as individuals. It, call me cheesy, but it teaches you so much as a person because, you know, it teaches you how to work with people, communicate with people, and you learn the most about yourself and people in stressful situations. My confidence levels were kind of low, like I had zero confidence at the beginning, but now I have the confidence to be able to go on my own and to talk to people. And then like, I also developed my leadership skills as well. You know, if I was in their situation, I'd be really putting the CANSAT in bold in my CV in the future, you know, how, you know it's a big, big achievement and big life skills learned over the, the last few months. Every member of my, my team I'd be proud to employ. But what they need to be able to do is convince and convey those ideas to other people. And this is really what you know, we're trying to do. I mean, it's uh, absolutely amazing. They, the work that they are doing is, is really incredible. We don't have to go abroad to look for engineers. We, all the engineers are here and it's a perfect way of tapping onto these students. Through the project they get to meet local industrial partners so it's kind of a win-win-win-win situation for everyone involved the colleges the schools the teachers the students and also local industry as well as our major funders science foundation ireland i would encourage students as well if they're interested in doing this to approach a teacher and to see can you bring a team together because sometimes it's led by a teacher but sometimes it can be led by students all I really want to say is, you know, it's been a real blast coming up here, you know, spending time with all my friends, the team, working hard and solving all these problems and, you know, this has been a great experience.